The first round of March Madness has gotten underway with two major upsets knocking out both Baylor and Iowa State. I'm joined by Sam Cayucci, CEO of Sales Huddle Group. So, Sam, this has to mean a ton of broken brackets. They just say most people had these three seeds going a lot further. So does that sort of mean that the, the playing field is leveled across the board because most people probably are in the same situation? Yeah, I mean, you're going to see the Cinderella stories continue to happen. It happens every year. Uh, you know, the, the, the UABs that begin to emerge and the Georgia States begin to emerge are just going to create more tension. And it, you know, it happens every year. It's, a, it's prob- probably what's most fun about watching the tournament. Yeah, but we keep hearing all about Kentucky and, you know, the rest of the one seeds. They get all the glory, of course. But now that we're starting to think about sleepers, any others that you think could pop up in these later rounds? I think everybody's in play. I mean, from you look at Notre Dame that was on the brink. You look at North Carolina was also on the brink. Both were in the ACC championship. So, I mean, anything could happen in the next next few weeks. So, how does the team's progression through the tournament impact it financially? Say Georgia State, if it continues to go in terms of you know licensing, media, enrollment, sponsorship, all of that, how does it impact it financially, or does it really just take that win? Right. Yeah, I mean, I think win, win, winning is obviously paramount, but you have programs that are not on the map who see a huge boost after just one win. Georgia State's going to see a boost. UAB is going to see a boost, even if they don't win the next round. And then you also have the big, the big Kentuckys who are just machines already. The interesting thing, too, is going to be you have a lot of companies that are going to come out of, out of uh, all, all areas that are going to try to take advantage advantage of the opportunity that presents itself when a Georgia state now has to realize that they have value when it comes to sponsorship, they have value when it comes to licensing, they have value when it comes to ticket sales. Well, and so because we've been talking a lot about sleepers and upsets, any financial sleepers, anybody that benefits or profits rather from March Madness that we might not expect? You're going to see you're going to see jobs created from March Madness. When teams go go farther in the tournament than they expected, universities see an, an advantage to increase ticket sales. And you see a huge opportunity for programs and universities to look at ticketing, which maybe wasn't a huge avenue for them in the past. Maybe giving away tickets for to fill the stadium are now going to have a revenue generator and a profit center on their campus. And of course, I mean, people are making money from this across the board. I mean, just break down some of the numbers for us. I mean, even in terms of ad spending, it's got to be through the roof. Yeah, you have I mean, triple the ad spend in the, Mar- in the March Madness tournament than there is in the Super Bowl, right? I mean, it's just they're across the board. You see with the fact that March Madness is a across a wide array of media networks, not just one network like you might see the Super Bowl in, there's there's opportunity beyond just what you might see in, um, in, in ticket sales and whatnot. Well, thank you so much, Sam Cayuchi, CEO of Sales Huddle Group. Thank you. And I'm Brittany Umar for The Street.